Yes, so the APC supporters who mocked uh, others, especially oppositions, that they lost election. Any little thing, they say, oh, because they lost election, that is why they are against uh, Buhari. Oh, they lost election, that's why they are against Buhari. They have never seen anything good about Buhari's government because they lost election. Tell me how they fared under Buhari. They suffered and suffered and suffered. Of course, everybody suffered it together. But it was not as if their life was better. Now they have continued. The same APC supporters now are saying anything that uh, this government, that Tinubu does, that is not right. When people talk or you talk about other things, they will not say, oh, because they lost election, they're just starting again. So tell me, the same set of people who suffered under Buhari, the same APC supporters who suffered under Buhari, who contributed to the suffering of other people who did not even support Buhari, they caused all this hardship. Now they have started again. Any little thing, oh, because they lost election. What you that have not lost election, what and what have you gained? Even in these three months of 100 days of uh, Tinumbu, it has been a disaster. Tell me, he went to, he has gone to, what is it called? A, 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 U, a, or whatever, Dubai to go and uh, fix the issue of a visa and all of that. But the real problems, that some things that can really bring prosperity into this country, they will not do it. Now they remove a first subsidy. No, no, no plans on ground to cushion the effect. They told us that uh, they are giving uh, the governors five billion naira to settle the issue of a uh, subsidy remover, so that people will not suffer. At the end of the day, we are we learned that it was only two two billion dollar they gave to them two billion naira rather. They gave to the to the governors, and in the first place, people said, "Don't give them money. Stop sharing money. It's not going to. Have, it's not going to solve any problem." He said, "No, they are going to share money. Now they've shared the money. Whether it has, if it's, if it's, whether it is five billion naira or two billion naira, people did not see it. I don't know whether it's only about two or three. I don't. I'm not sure. About five. Uh, maybe up to five uh, states have been able to share palaces or and all that. And even in those states." And the local government, maybe two or three local governments, just hearing it skeletically. At the end of the day, people who even collected the useless palliative in the name of whatever they shared, tell me, how is their life now? How are they faring? Nothing. The same problem. Declare emergency on education, on insecurity, on economy, so that things will be moving fine. Now they did a Naira flute. Where has it landed us? No security in Nigeria. You are going up and down telling people that uh, without uh, Nigeria, G20 will not be complete. Like, seriously? Because we celebrate useless things in this country. We celebrate uh, mediocrity in this country. That is why the country is like this. The real problems that we are faced with, they will not go about it. They will be going for the yeah, 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 things. things that do not even have a direct impact on Nigerians. How many, what kind of treaty, how many countries do uh, uh, does Nigeria have a trade treaty with when it comes to the real issue? The UK people that gave us a, a independence or whatever, did they give us independence in the first place? Because those ones they just came to manipulate a, a system. Tell me, they, has, they gain from Nigeria. At the end of the day, what kind of treaty does Nigeria have with them as far as uh, their citizens are concerned? No. How many people can go to Dubai? You, you, you'll be surprised. The people who are going to be beneficiaries, who are beneficiaries of this uh, visa lifting from Dubai, they are going to be rich people. What is the percentage of the people? How many people have a passport in Nigeria? Don't talk of it, say you want to travel. How many Nigerians have even gone to, have been to our own local airports? How many of them? Don't talk of it, we're talking of Dubai. The hardship that is on ground now, no, they are not saying anything about it. As far as uh, APC and Tinubu, as far as they are concerned, they have been able to settle the issue of a uh, uh, subsidy remover. They've cushioned the effects as far as they are concerned. So it is so is it is baffling. Very, very un 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 unreasonable and dangerous. For people to be saying that uh, some people lost election, they will come and tell you that uh, some people don't know how to pay politics. And you begin to ask them whether they really have sense. You that you have been playing politics, check the notes. They say they know how to play politics. Is that the kind of thing I'm, I'm always asking that question? You want to buy clothes for somebody and you are wearing rag. And you expect the, somebody to emulate you. I always use, use a religion analogy on that. 
you only say oh your religion is better your religion is better but there's wickedness you portray wickedness you do this you are not even progressing and you expect people to come and say oh you want to they want to join your this thing why is it that a lot of people we talk about jackpot people want to go abroad people want to go to other countries why is it that they want to go there it's because people have been there there's we can see the evidence you don't need anybody to tell you to come to their country you want to go there you want to go there because you have seen or you've heard that uh, things are going on fine there. How many people, individuals, rush to Nigeria from other countries that they want to come and stay in Nigeria? Mm. Tell me, the manner at which people will sell all their properties all in the name of uh, they want to go abroad. How many of other citizens, we are not talking of uh, government officials or whatever who are coming or some business tycoons who are coming to make the system because they know the system is not even working. It's going to be to the advantage. Now, some of the world leaders are praising Tinubu now for the economic decisions and policies he had taken. How is it? It is detrimental. All those policies are detrimental to the Nigerian people. But it's going to be benef they are going to be benef uh, benefiting or they are going to be beneficiaries of all those Ill, Ill, uh, whatever. Because the more Nigerians suffer, the more all those international countries, the more they get say, what they want. And why wouldn't they praise him? They will praise him now. Is it not Nigeria that's supposed to be praising him for, me, for his economic eh, policies reformed? No. Reverse is the case. So I pity those who are always saying, hey, you did not win election. These people did not win election because you did not win election. You will win election, which you don't get. Nobody suffer, you don't suffer. Some of you will even manage get motor now. She don't pack your motor now because you can't even buy for it. Nigeria will never be good in as much we have a lot of people who do not reason with their head, who are sentimental. You, you celebrate your poverty. You celebrate your ignorance. And you expect God to come and do what? If you like, pray for not eternity. It's not going to work. We see other countries. They don't pray as we pray in our, in our country. And this... Useless people will be telling you that, oh, if not because of the prayers, Nigeria would have been worse than this. The ones that are not praying, what is, why is it that their country, their, the those countries have not been destroyed? You think uh, you can bribe God. You don't do the right thing. You think you can bribe God. You think you can maneuver God. No, he is a principled God. We pray, 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 pray. Yes, no results. Because we are not doing the right thing. So you always say, oh, uh, we know how to play politics. You're, you're the people of your region, they are worse off. So do you really have sense? Don't, can't you think? The same thing you are doing over and over again, you know how to play politics, you carry talks, you carry this. Nobody say you can't make your, your life come better. They've started again. It's just unfortunate. So ridiculous set of